Connecticut's Back to School Authority is sponsored by Yale New Haven Children's Hospital, one of the best in the nation. Later today, teachers in East Haven are planning to protest right outside the local high school. They want district leaders to delay the start of the school year. And tonight's demonstration is all part of a statewide effort to demand safer back to school plans across Connecticut. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne joins us now live in East Haven. And Roger, it's not just teachers pushing for this change, right? Oh, that's right, Nicole. In fact, a coalition of unions is, re is leading this charge, and they represent more than 60,000 school staffers. Everything from school bus drivers, paraprofessionals, custodians, they're all represented, along with, of course, teachers. Now, what they're asking for, what they're demanding, it's nuanced, it's complicated, but union leaders say it all boils down to really one thing, student as well as staff safety. The unions recently submitted a 13-point plan to help improve conditions, which includes calling for each district to have a joint labor committee, mandatory masks for all students regardless of grade level, social distancing guarantees, a proper HVAC system for better ventilation, and improved accommodations for immunocompromised students and staffers. Now, leaders of the largest teachers union in the state, the Connecticut Education Association, or CEA, say they are making their demands publicly because so far going through the process has not been effective. Both the governor and the commissioner are concerned about safety. What we're finding out, however, is that that isn't necessarily translating into actions and activities that are taking place in all the different uh, local districts in Connecticut. And coming up in half an hour, we're going to talk with a local fifth grade teacher about why she is so concerned about the fall semester. We mentioned this protest outside East Haven High School tonight. It begins at 7 o'clock tonight, and organizers say they expect a big, socially distanced crowd. Reporting live outside East Haven High School, I'm Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.